Hey guys, it's Penny. I want to thank you for joining me. This is my first video of 2015 and I'm starting a new project this year which is that I'm going to be taking a an image or um, a magazine ad or something like that and use it as an inspiration piece to create a card for you and I'm going to film the process that I use in doing that. I'm going to be Posting these once a week is my uh, goal, and I hope that you'll enjoy them. Please like, comment, subscribe so that I know that you're watching and enjoying these videos. Thank you. So this is the inspiration ad for this week. It is a perfume ad, and what caught my eye, there's two different things about this that I'm um, focusing on. The first is the colors of this and the way this is done. Um, I just find it very very pretty. And this right here reminds me of a bow. So we're going to use uh, a bow on our card and I do have some special um, material to use um, to make it look, I think it will look kind of similar to this. Uh, but So let's go ahead and I will get started. Here we go. Next thing I decided here is to start off with a creamed colored cardstock. Um, I don't have a peach quite this color and I have a feeling that um, the pinks and creams and that will show up better on this lighter vanilla so I'm going to go ahead and use that anyways. And um, so what I've done is I grabbed some glimmer mist. This is Tattered Angels um, glimmer mist. This one's Cadillac Pink. Um, this one is Starfish. And this one, which is almost gone, Vintage Pink. And then these are the chalk board uh, mists. And this is Apricot Nectar. And Cotton Candy. And then, I'm not sure if I'll use this, but this is a Studio Calico Mr. Huey's in Calico Cream. So I'm going to set these back a little bit. And I think we should start with the lighter. Um, my thought process was uh, just dropping these on. Um, I think I'm going to start with the vintage cotton candy pink. This is the chalkboard ink. And I'm going to, I, yeah, I think, I think just dropping it on is the way to go on this. So this is what we're going to try. And I want to make sure that we have some color mixing, so I'm going to continue on. This is uh, vintage pink. This is almost gone. So I might actually just end up pouring this on. We'll see. Okay, we'll stop at that. I might end up using the rest of that. I'm going to put that over here. And then, let's see, this is the Cadillac pink. It's a little bit brighter. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, I like when I had it at an angle, how it splurted up like that. That's, that's actually what we're looking for. Perfect. So let's try that again. Woo. Okay. I'm going to continue um, with these colors here. Let's see. Let's try the chalkboard. This is apricot nectar. I 
I'm going to keep doing this over and over until I get the consistency I like. Um, this one, let's see. I'm going to use this um, caliber pink again. Candy pink. I like the way that's um, it's um, kind of taken the, the top layer of color there, which I like. Okay. This is not a technique to use if you don't mind, if you want clean hands because this is going to get my hands dirty and that's the way I like it. Yeah, I really like the way this looks on here. I don't want to get the paper too soaking wet though. Um, the problem is that I need to have the product within the straw here. Oop, suctioning it. And then I'm also getting it on my hand, but that seems to be the way to do it. Okay, I think we'll be almost done. I want to do just a little bit more here. Okay, so I ran out of um, space on my memory card while I was filming you only missed a tiny bit of it. Um, I had put some calico cream on here as well and we this is the way it looks. We're gonna set it aside and let it dry uh, for a while. We're gonna go and work on other parts of the card now. Okay for the bow part I'm going to use this really cool die from Dynamics. Um, it creates little bows. I'm only gonna use um, I'm gonna use the big one I think it was I'm pretty sure it was a big one and I have a couple options for the this part of the bow I have a um, cream colored velvet paper and I have a pink colored velvet paper and I have some paper that I had sprayed with glimmer mist a while ago this is just a thin type of paper so I'm going to go use my die cut machine, my Big Shot, and I'll be right back. Okay, the only um, one that worked here as far as size goes, because I don't have these broken apart, you certainly can bend it and um, get the little metal connector part that's um, holding it all together. You can cut that or um, wiggle them back and forth and break that off. I just decided to keep them together because it's... Uh, easier to store and find that way. So I ran it through my machine one. Okay, I have those pieces die cut now. Um, I will have more than I need obviously because this makes two different bows. Now for the gold part that was in the middle of the picture, let me show you that again. For the bow, um, I am going to use this gold paper that I have uh, it's just a little bit metallic and um, I only need these center pieces so I may have to oh it looks like um, looks like I can get it just laying this across here so I'm gonna go ahead and um, die cut that again and I'll be right back and we'll put, assemble the bow hang on okay I have uh, the parts of the bow cut out and this is the way we assemble the bow. Um, you want to take the piece and let me um, let me zoom it in a little bit for you. Okay. So you take the bow like that. I think I'm going to use my multi-matte medium glue, the liquid glue. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a little strip down the center here. I don't want to use too much because I don't want it to affect the... I don't want it to affect the velvet. But we need enough to make the bow stick. So the, the way we do that is to fold each side into the middle. And by using liquid adhesive, I can just make sure I have it nice and um, positioned properly. Let me see if I can do that a little bit better here. And it can overlap a little bit, whatever you think it needs. And I'm going to put this aside. If I can find something to put over it. Hang on. It does take um, a little while to dry. I'd say maybe give yourself two minutes um, for drying time. I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to use the large bow. And I'm going to, again, put that multi-medium down on the center of the bow here. Set that aside to dry. Yes, I'm going to stop touching it now. Okay, so the next step then is to use the um, tail part of the bow. And one thing we can do, I'm not sure if this is going to show up. Let me just check. Yeah, that's not going to show up. So I'm going to um, actually let this dry properly and then I'll be back and we'll finish putting our bow together. Okay, the bow is still a wee bit wet, but I'm going to go ahead because I just can't wait any longer. I want to get this uh, video posted for you guys. Same process we used before. Try not to use too much. Because you don't need much. And then you lay the top over the bottom just like this and let it sit and dry and then we'll be back to finish the card. My panel has had a chance to dry. Um, I decided I want to add a little bit more gold into the card so I am going to run the edges in my um, Versamark just lightly and then I'm going to sprinkle it with gold embossing powder. So I am going to grab my heat tool and heat this up. Okay, let's go ahead and attach the bow to the bottom of the card. I'm going to turn this around just temporarily. I'm going to use my uh, multi matte medium again. And I'm just going to do it like a strip across the bottom here, or the middle, excuse me. Just going to do a strip across the middle. And I'm going to place it on the card. Make sure that's straight. Look straight. Okay, well that has a chance to dry, 
I'm going to put some sequins on and I'm going to be using um, the gl mini glue dots for this step. My camera ended and I'm not quite sure where where it stopped um, but I am going to go ahead and do an inside greeting now and I'm going to emboss it with gold embossing powder as well. So I'm going to use my Versamark and I'm going to line this up as best as I can. And now I'm going to use my gold embossing powder. And the inside message says, whatever you need, I'll be there for you. I'm going to go ahead and heat this up. Okay. That looks good. And the final step will be assembling my card. Um, this is the panel. If you didn't get a chance to see it, um, what I did is I added some sequins using glue dots. Um, we added the bow here on the bottom and then I embossed the um, front greeting which says, sending you all my love. Give this a, inside a chance to dry a little bit. In the meantime, let's see if this bow is dry. dry enough that it's not going to move on me. I'm going to go ahead and use some um, foam adhesive here. And go ahead and peel the backing off of this. And we'll go ahead and stick it on the front panel of our card. And that's our finished card.